Hello everybody, so today I want to quickly look at creating selections within the viewport over here. So there are a number of ways that I can make selections in Houdini uh, which we will look at over the next few lessons. Uh, some of them involve using nodes here in the, in the network editor. Uh, but I just want to look in this lesson at how to do this within the viewport. So this is going to be very similar to what would happen within other pieces of software such as Maya or Blender. Uh, so anyway, let's first take a look at this. Um, so first of all, I have this uh, select button right here, right, which I can click on. Um, now I have a number of hotkeys which won't be the same as you have within the defaults in Houdini. Uh, so I have Q for the select tool. I have W for the move tool. I have E for the rotate tool and I have R for the scale tool. The reason why I've done that is because in Maya it also has the same hotkeys for these particular functions or these particular tools and I decided to make my hotkeys the same here in Houdini. I have a problem remembering the different hotkeys in different softwares, especially when they do exactly the same thing. So I decided to kind of match them. And you know, if you want to work quickly between various software, I would suggest that you also do something very similar. Okay, but anyway, so if I hit my this button here, I've got my select, and I'm gonna create, first of all, a piece of geometry for us to mess about on so let's have the the sphere okay cool and if you look up here i have a number of options of what i can select i can use this for the points i have this one here for edges i have this one here for uh, polygons and i have this one here for vertices and i also have this selected here which means it's like a box select so let's have a look how this works let's go back to my primitives and i can see that if i just select anything within the box i can see that it's been selected in primitives uh, points same thing i just select whichever points i want i can also just click directly on the point and it will do the same thing all right if i hit shift while i'm hitting the points I can also add to my selection. All right, uh, let's go to edges, same thing. And again, just select the various edges that I want. And I've got my vertices, again, same thing. All right, so let's go back to my polygons. Okay, cool. And now I want to quickly look at the options with selection here, because I have my box select, but I can also have a lasso, which if you have used Photoshop or any 3D software, you'll see this one where I can just create whatever shape I want. Okay, and it will select anything that's within there. My other option here is uh, this one here. And this is called, let me remember the name of this. I'll just hold this above it for a minute. It's not giving me the the option here but okay if I select this one here what this allows me to do is just select anything that comes under this little circle here right all right let me see if it comes up yet uh, I don't know why it's not doing that normally you get a little tool tip that comes up but anyway I don't remember uh, the name of this one uh, but you can see here where it is and the radius, if you look at this little circle here, I can make this radius bigger. So if I middle mouse here in the middle, and I'll just make that bigger, uh, maybe a bit bigger than that even. Let's go all the way up to 100. I can see that this is now huge. And anything, of course, that gets selected under there is going to come up. Again, I can use my, uh, my shift key, which will add to the selection just in the same way, okay? And that will be, I assume, most of it. Hit my space bar and I can rotate around it. Now, if I want to get rid of this selection, what I can do is just click off into space and that will get rid of it. And in addition to that, I can also hit the Shift N and that will also clear that selection. All right. Now there's this one here, which is the laser select. Oh, now it's coming up. So, okay, so that was brush select. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay, I forgot the name of it. Now you can see, and this one here is laser select. Laser select doesn't have a radius. It's very similar to the brush select. 
I just press down holding my mouse button and I can select anything that touches this cursor all right simple as that now it's a little bit different from the brush select in that the brush select has this radius option here and I can select a number in one click but the uh, uh, laser select doesn't have that option it, uh, it just allows you to select whatever is under the cursor All right. okay so that's the beginning anyway we'll look at more as we go on through uh, various lessons but I think for this introduction it's pretty simple alright so if you've got any questions please leave them below and you guys have a great day